What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Fusion Essentials tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little more about extrusions and the kind of extrusions you can create inside of Fusion 360. So taking two-dimensional shapes and extruding them to 3D is going to be one of the primary ways that we create and also modify shapes. So I wanted to talk through some of the ways that we can do that inside of this program. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so one thing we're going to do a lot of inside of Fusion 360 is we're going to create flat profiles and extrude them to three dimensions. So the way that works is let's say very simply we were to create a sketch of let's call this some kind of a metal tab. So we'll just make it a rectangular metal tab and we'll add to this in a second but very simply if we were to create a sketch and then use the extrude tool you can see how this profile that we have right here was this face and we've extruded that into 3D using the extrude tool. And so this is kind of the basis for everything you're gonna do inside of Fusion 360 is taking a flat shape like this one and extruding it into three dimensions. And so we're gonna build everything on top of this. So let's say for example that we had another one of these. Over here, we would do the same thing. We would give this the same thickness which so then we would give this piece thickness right here. So, and we can use this to create simple and more complex profiles. So let's say that we had something that was a little more complex, like maybe something that's got some kind of a, some kind of a rail system on it. So something like this. And let's say we were to offset all of these edges in a little bit. Then we would extrude this shape into three dimensions. So you can see how this works for simple and more complicated profiles. Well, that's going to be kind of the basis for the way that we're going to do different things in here, but you can also use this tool not only to add material, but also to subtract material. So now that we've got our pieces in here, let's say, for example, that we wanted to cut a hole in the top of this shape. So um, we could use the extrude tool in order to extrude a cut condition in order to cut a hole. So the way that would work is we would just create a sketch here on top of our face. We draw a circle. It's going to have whatever the, the width is that we want here. So in this case, we'll call it five millimeters. And then very simply, we'll finish our sketch and you can use the extrude tool in order to extrude this to cut a hole. So you're going to notice that in this situation what happened is you can see how this extrusion turned red. Well the reason it turned red is because Fusion 360 saw that we were extruding something through something else and it assumed that we wanted to create a hole in this location and so it set our operation to cut. So um, if you wanted to create a new body you would select new body here, but if you want to cut a hole using this shape, you would use the cut operation. And so you can use this to cut holes really quickly and really easily inside of Fusion 360. So not only can you use this to add material, you can also use this to subtract material. And so this would work not only for things like holes, but also for other things as well. So let's say that we had another rectangle. We'll keep it simple. And let's say we wanted to add a notch along the side of this object. Well, what we would do is we would create another sketch on this face and we would model out the size of our notch. So we'll go with a notch that's maybe like five by two. So we've modeled out a notch and we'll finish our sketch we would use the extrude tool in order to extrude this along this face. You can see how this is gonna cut an opening based on where this 2D shape is. So we're using extrusion in a subtractive fashion in this situation rather than an additive fashion. So if we were to click OK, you can see how we have our notch cut inside of this shape using our straight extrusions. So we're gonna use straight extrusions for a lot of different things inside of Fusion 360, but there's also two other kinds of extrusions that I want to talk about. So not only is there the simple straight extrude tool, there's also the revolve tool, which we'll talk about in a second, and the sweep tool. And so sometimes what you want to do is instead of extruding an object in a straight line like this, you want it to follow a path. So let's say, for example, that we had a line 
that had some turns in it. So we'll say it goes at some 90s, and then we'll say it goes at 135 degree angle at one point. So something like this, and let's say we wanted our extrusion to follow this path. Well, using the extrude tool to do this wouldn't be very practical. It wouldn't work very well. Um, however, what we could do is we could create a sketch with a profile along this point, and we'll keep it fairly similar to what we've done before. Well, instead of using the extrude tool, in this situation, what we would do is we would use the sweep tool in order to sweep this along a path. So you would just activate this tool, you would select your profile, and then you would select your path like this. And the really cool thing about something like this is this automatically follows the curves. So you can see how this keeps this shape closed along the curves, meaning this maintains its solidness. So you can use this to create much more complex extrusion. So this is really good for adding like wood base to houses or other things that need to follow along a path. But the cool thing about this is you can also use this to remove material as well. It has the same operations as the extrude tool does. So if we had, let's say a large face like this one, let's say we had a large flat piece of material like this, and say that we wanted to create some recesses along this object, well you could come in here and you could model out, say like a circular profile, if you wanted to remove some circular material. So you could sketch out a curved path on this face, so let's say we had our three point arc tool and we wanted to create an arc that ran along here. We could use the sweep tool in order to remove material on that face. So in this case, this will be our profile and then this will be our path. And you can see how if we click OK, you can see how this actually removes the material from the face of this object. So you could use this to create a number of different objects in here. And we would want to extend this past this line, but just know that you can use the sweep function to remove material just as easy, easily as you can use it to add material. And then finally, let's talk about the revolve tool. So we've talked about the regular extrude tool, which extrudes things in a line. We've talked about the sweep tool, which extrudes things along a path. Now let's talk about the revolve tool, which actually revolves things in a circle. So we'll go ahead and start a new, um, a new example model for this one. But what this one does is while the others, you give them a path for this one, And let's say we drew a circle right here. This one, you give it an axis to revolve around. So what this one does, for example, is if I was to run the revolve tool, it would ask me to select a profile, which would be my circle, and then the axis around which we want to rotate. You can see how in this situation what this does is this will allow you to rotate this around the blue axis if you select that. And you can do both a partial as well as a complete so you can do that however you want to. So you can just set this to full if you want this to be a full new body. So, and this works not only for things that are off of the center axis, but let's say, so let's say we wanted something like a bowl. You could create a curving extrusion. We'll go ahead and trim off this extra. And then we'll also close this in and we'll just use a simple edge for right now. But you could use the revolve tool to revolve this around the central axis. And you can see how this would allow you to create a simple bowl type shape. So you could use this in order to create objects that are more like lathed around an axis. So, and the fun thing about this one is, let's say that we wanted to maybe add some ridges or something like that to our bowl. And I know the base is like ridiculously small and that's okay for this example. But you could just draw a profile and then you could use the revolve tool to remove material 
from this shape. So in this situation, you see how this turns red because the face that we're extruding intersects with this object. Well, if you were to click OK, you can see how what that does is that allows us to kind of notch out this material using the revolve tool really easily. So once you kind of figure out how this works with your circular objects, you can use it to do a lot of different interesting things with this tool as well. So that's kind of an overview of the different ways that you can use extrusions inside of Fusion 360 to create different shapes. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought, if this was helpful to you. Uh, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.